there was no evidence of uh, speeding. Uh, the defendant did not have any prior DUI uh, cases or convictions. Um, and through negotiation, the parties uh, came to this resolution as it was uh, a comparable uh, result to other similarly situated defendants. And we did consult with the son of the victim in making this offer. Um, and uh, you know, he, he did not have any uh, particular objections to it. Um, obviously, the victim in this case, 64 years old, 64 year old man. It, it seemed that he crossed this section of Stark probably pretty frequently. Uh, it was a dark day, somewhat rainy. Uh, he was he almost made across from the south to the north, all five lanes, when the defendant's vehicle struck him. Uh, to the defendant's credit, he did not run. It was not a hit and run case. There's no evidence of high speed, uh, but the defendant did have a 0 0.10 blood alcohol content when it was uh, taken from him, as well as some evidence of marijuana and hydrocodone. Although how that influenced his uh, how that uh, influenced his driving is quite unknown. Matt, I, I don't know if Mr. Lipich has a statement to make to the court. He's told me numerous times how sorry he is for everything that happened. Um, he didn't feel like he was impaired at the time, but of course. That's uh, the nature of alcohol. Um, just because the prosecutor touched on the hydrocodone was taken for a, a tooth problem. It was long before it did not affect him at all. The marijuana uh, was not, uh, in his, it was in the system, but it was not impairing him. So um, he's prepared to go into custody today. And um, if you do have a statement to make, Mr. Leptich, okay. So he would waive his right to allocution, Judge, and he would 